And here, Jake would arrive in Georgia in the fall of 1983, and he is gunning for that TV title shortly after arriving. Jake, would that have been the first time that you had met Ronnie? No, gosh, no. I met Ronnie years ago. I refereed some of his matches in uh, Louisiana. And um, believe me, it scared the hell out of me. (laughs) Just being a ref scared you. Yeah, I did, man. I didn't, want, I didn't want to piss him off. I didn't kill me. I remember a fan one time. Ronnie would bring his towel down around his neck, and he'd hang it in the corner. So he did, and some fan ran up there and reached and grabbed it and blew his nose on it and then acted like he's wiping his ass with it and threw it down. And I told Ronnie what had happened. He jumped out of the ring and ran down the aisle and four, the guy in the back. And that guy went flying, man. <laughs> he went flying. <laughs> so you weren't just snug in the ring. You were snug uh, outside the ring, too, you had to be, huh? More so outside than inside, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad name to have, a rugged. You know, everybody took advantage of me. <laughs> yeah, right. It sounds like you held your own. And uh, Ronnie, as you and I were getting set up, actually, you told me a, a brief story about actually working with Jake's father um, yeah. a, a long before you worked with Jake. Is that true? Oh, he, he was, I love to work with him. I think I worked with him not many times, maybe three or four. And uh, there's a story. I think it was the first time or the second time I worked. I work with him. I realized that if I punched him under the chin, I was at the end of my head, but I, I didn't barely touch him. He was so tall. What was he, six, seven, six, six eight? Yeah, he was or, six, he six, was so ten. tall that I, I didn't have to. I just went, boom. Okay, well, I just reached right under the chin, but I never had to, to stop. And I hit the ropes and I hit him. I need stagger. He staggered. And I hit the rope about two or three times. And when he went down, this Mark came in the ring to help him. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's weird. He was in Louisiana somewhere, and I said, man, I can't believe it. You know, I'm in the ring with a guy that's 6'8", and, you know, big old guy. <laughs> this guy's coming in to help him. <laughs> but he told I mean, he went down, man. It was, oh, geez. Oh, it was so simple, you know. We didn't have to diving into the crowd and all that stuff. We didn't have to do any of that. 